And Jesus is in the garden. The guards are coming to get him. And he's saying, Father, I want them to be one. Because when they're one, then the world's gonna know that you sent me. And do we really want the world to know that Jesus is the son of God? You gotta get in. You gotta get in. There's another reason. Some of you are super talented. You've got five gifts. You know, you've you, you got talents and talents and talents and, and you don't really want to plug in because uh, you don't want to submit to the authority you'd have to submit to if you were to serve in that area. And so, because you're not going to be in charge of it the way you want to, you're just out. You don't want to buy the time. So you just stop. And you say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Well, it gets really old saying, I love Jesus when we don't love the things he loves. And he loves the church. So if we really love him, we would love the thing that he loves, even though it's beat up and broken and bruised, we would love it. Because the, the fact is this, there is going to be accountability for your gifts. You could be completely and totally saved. Saved by grace. Grace is free. It's a free gift. And you become his and at the same time, while he's saved, we could be missing out on a huge blessing for you and for the church because you're disobedient in this area. His grace is free, but there, there is some work that comes after free salvation because we love him, not because we have to, but because we get to. And maybe the talent that God has given you, You've been using it for things that are okay. It's, it's okay to use your talent to get into a good school. It's okay to use your talent to provide and be honorable and provide and to, to help other people with things and to, to follow your dreams. But if all of your endeavors and all of your pursuits with the talent that God has given you is only fulfilling to you, then those things have never been turned into gifts. And in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus has very stern things to say to people who take their gifts and serve themselves, which is burying it in the ground. And Christ says, I've left you something. Here's what I've left you. Unity. And the world is going to know that I'm the son of God when, when you, all you come together and you just love one another. Because the world can't do that. That is spirit-led, spirit-gifted. One church, one faith, one baptism, one hope, one father who is in all and all over all. And he's apportioned grace to you.